Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here, and this summer I'm going to take every maths and further maths A-level exam that I can, which is 13 in total, culminating on Monday the 24th of June, where I will be sitting six hours of exams with four different papers. Now, these 13 exams that I'm doing, of course, for maths, there's pure, pure and applied, and then the 10 exams for further maths, core pure one and core pure two, further pure one and two, further stats one and two, further mechanics one and two, and decision one and two, bring me up to that 13 in total. There. Now, I think this idea was originally suggested to me by a former colleague, and a week or so ago, I asked my subscribers what they thought, whether I should do this. I had nearly 2,000 people respond, and 94% of people said I should go ahead, so I'm going to do it. Well, why am I doing this? Well, probably part of me is like when I did my A-levels, I couldn't get an A-star, they weren't available. So maybe there's a sneaky part of me that still wants to make sure I can get those A-stars on my CV. No, no, no. But... I am pretty committed to doing this. I have to pay about £300 to do it, but I think I'm going to do that because it just feels like it's going to be rewarding on a couple of different levels, actually. So I want to start off like on a personal level, why I'm, why I'm excited to do this. Well, I'm going to be able to learn loads of new things, even if I feel like I'm maybe running out of time a little bit. It's January right now, and the exams are just a few months away. Of course, I'm not talking about normal maths A-level or loads of the further maths content. That's stuff that I just know by heart because I teach it all of the time. But what you probably don't realise is that loads of A-level content doesn't actually feature in people's degrees, whether that's for maths or chemistry or whatever it might be. Teachers often have to brush up on loads of new stuff before they teach it, and I'm really looking forward to doing that those things. Now, I probably have to do a little bit more of that because my original degree was actually history at Oxford. And then more recently, I did a math kind of conversion degree whilst working full time. So I have actually taken exams quite recently. And because I'm a bit of a nerd, a bit of a into doing exams and stuff, I actually really enjoyed that process. And, you know, I could probably share my exams from uh, share my marks, how I did in A level and how I maybe did in my degree, if that's something that you guys might be interested in. Now, like I said, I am going to have to learn a lot of new content. And in particular, that's going to be coming from further stats and from decision as well. And what I'm going to do is make that content of me teaching those things along the way as well, <clears throat> contributing to my pretty big project that I've been committed to this year of making all of these extra further maths videos so that my channel has something that covers every single part of maths and further maths. Now, nearly all of it is free to subscribers. It will be for just the maths A level and most of further maths. But I don't know if you've noticed that the options modules I've been putting all this time into are available to members. So if you're interested in joining the channel to access those, everything is great quality and you can make sure that you'll understand everything to a really high level. And I've had to do that just because I've been putting so much time into this new kind of content. The other reason that I wanted to document this experience is because I genuinely think it's going to be really, really useful to you guys. And that has motivated me to think, yeah, let's let's put myself in their position and see how it goes. So I'm going to show you my whole process, like how do I study new things? Um, how do I grapple with concepts that I'm finding challenging? And a little bit more about kind of memorizing techniques and stuff as well. Um, I might even show you a bit about how I make my videos and preparing to teach new things too. I think it's going to help me relate to what you guys go through as young people, you know, how you might make silly mistakes under pressure or kind of juggling a lot of things um, in like an intense period of time and hopefully how I can manage some of those bits too. I'm also going to be a little bit more ex involved during exam season, hoping to have some things like live streams before some of the big exams, of course all my usual reactions to the paper, except this time they're going to be immediate as soon as I get out of the exam hall. Then later in the summer, I will share my results with you paper by paper. And I'm very much hoping to score at least one paper with full marks. That's definitely one of the goals that I've set myself here. I also like the idea of some of you guys beating me in some of the papers. Listen, I am a good mathematician, but I know for a fact there are some much, much greater mathematicians than me out there. And I think that'll be quite fun to have a think about as well. Even further on, when the lock on the summer's paper is released and taken off, I will actually share my actual scripts um, with my handwriting on and sort of how I did in all of them, where I lost marks, questions that I found challenging, and really to kind of discuss how I approach those things and possibly like where I made silly mistakes or maybe where I made a mistake and was able to correct it. I think that process will be really useful for us to have a look at together. Now, at first, I was feeling very, very confident about this and nerves have already started to set in as I've been making this video because I've just kind of realised that the whole thing is going to be shared with so many people. And even just a tiny taste of those nerves is a good reminder for me of what we as teachers and as a country put our young people through by doing these exams like pretty much year after year. 
So the last thing I wanted to mention is a pretty important one is about grade boundaries, as there were a few people in the comments before that rightly shared some concerns about my potential impact on grade boundaries. And I did take these concerns really seriously by looking into how grade boundaries are formed in quite a lot of detail. And if this is something you're interested in, I've actually made a, a short video, which I've linked in the description, which discusses this more mathematically, because it kind of surprised me to hear that the way the boundaries are created is not as straightforward as I expected. So do check that out if you're curious. And in a nutshell, I, I cannot have an impact on the grade boundaries. I feel really confident about that. If I was worried at all that I could impact somebody's potential place of going to university, I would not do this project. So I feel pretty confident that this is, this is the right thing for me to do. And I want to hear from you guys, you know, what do you want to see from me over the next few months of this project? Is there anything you'd find useful that I haven't mentioned already? What might you want to know a bit more about? And I'm just looking forward to showing you my approach to how I'm going to go about this whole thing. Um, like last year, I'm still going to be running some paid for Zoom revision classes just before the exams. These were a real hit. They sold out, really well reviewed, and people thought it really helped them get those few extra marks that they needed in the exam. So look out for more info on that soon. But in the meantime, I have got some classes, some master classes scheduled for February half term that you might be interested in purchasing. There are two that are directed at sort of year 13s or people who are in the second year of study. There's one on trigonometry and one on differentiation. And then the third class it could be for year 12s or 13s on exponentials and logarithms and I'm kind of styling them as a bit of a, a master class as well to kind of take you through all of those topics and show you as hard as it can possibly be and if you like these I can do one on integration but usually integration is sort of done a little bit later on in the year so check out the box office link that is in the description to get your tickets these classes do always sell out so do get them if you're interested um, they take place on zoom they're always recorded so you can re-watch them and they come with additional practice questions and video solutions too so I hope you guys are all good and feeling really positive about the next few months it is going to be hard work but I will be there with you along the way and it is all going to pay off in the long run and it will be worth it so good luck with all your studies and i will see you later